And so the world that we are living in is that Ashley Biden left a diary behind, intentionally, unintentionally, who knows. She left it behind in some place she was staying at. And a lady by the name of Amy Harris uh, found it um, and exposed one way or another. The details were exposed in it. And in the diary, we have Ashley Biden saying that she's uncomfortable with uh, her dad coming into the shower and all this stuff. Look, if that was a daughter of Donald Trump, uh, this would be front page news and Whoopi Goldberg and uh, Joy Behar would be screaming, Maddow would be screaming. And But this, this is not in the news at all. Even the uh, intelligence agencies were quiet about this. And there was... There were some murmurings that this isn't real, this is phony, it's fake. But now the DOJ and FBI, if I'm correct, have confirmed it's real. And Amy Harris has been prosecuted. She's going to spend a month in jail. Um, so this is a real diary. This is real what Biden's daughter has said. Uh, why? <laughs> if... If the President of the United States was doing the things that the daughter says he was when she was little, uh, can you please tell me why? Uh, I mean, we know the answer to this. It's rhetorical. But it's very interesting that it's not being discussed in the establishment media. Uh, Jamie, uh, this is a bizarre case because she was in treatment for uh, various addictions. And I think sex addiction was one of her addictions. And she was in this halfway house. She was writing a diary about her experiences. She leaves the halfway house, but leaves the diary underneath the mattress. Now, how can they claim that the woman that found it underneath the mattress and then sold it to Project Veritas stole that? She left it there. Just like Hunter Biden left the laptop at the uh, computer repair shop. It's almost as if these Biden children want the world to know about the perverse Biden family and about how uh, strange and unhealthy their upbringing was and how corrupt their father is. Ashley Biden uh, did not have her diary stolen. She left it somewhere. The person picked it up, knew what it was, and sold it to Project Veritas. And for that, She's being prosecuted and the Department of Justice have gone after her and, and James O'Keefe. And of course, if this would have been Ivanka Trump's diary, would, it, they, would they have done the same thing? Of course not. And yes, we heard it was Russian disinformation and all this other nonsense, but it was true. The laptop was true. This was true. Look at these children, Jamie. They're messed up. They're, they're, they're really in need of help, both of them. And you can point to the parents. You, know, you can point to the dysfunction of the Biden family. He's not a good person. He's not a good friend. He's not a good father. He's not a good president. He doesn't have uh, good morals. He's a very corrupt individual. So this just exposes it even more and uh, brings it home to the American people. But once again, shows how... Uh, biased the Department of Justice is, and they do the bidding of the Democrat Party. What do you think of Biden smelling the hair of the females that he speaks to? Um, then the stuff that he whispers to the young girls. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just surreal. It, it's surreal, Jeff. Why? I mean, why this guy wasn't charged uh, is beyond me. He assaulted Tara Reid with his daughter. He uh, massages and smells and gropes women, uh, treats kids uh, inappropriately. He's a creepy uh, old man. He's someone that uh, obviously is uh, mentally incompetent. And yet we got people like Whoopi Goldberg you were talking about earlier and all these other Democrats uh, on TV saying that we need to elect him to save America from the dangers of Donald Trump. Mm. I mean, that's how insane some of these people are. 